Example 11.7. The Federal Emergency Management Agency has ordered 25 specialized test units capable of field checking 15 separate elements in potable water in emergency situations. Thompson Waterworks, the contractor, took 200 hours to build the first unit. If direct and indirect labor costs average $50 per hour and an 80% learning rate is assumed, estimate A, the time needed to complete units 5 and 25, and B, the total labor costs for the 25 units. Okay, so whenever they're talking about time, that means that you're going to be using the learning curve method. Okay, so what do we have? It says right here that the contractor took 200 hours to build the first unit. So that means that T1 is equal to 200 hours. Then it says right here that the cost will average $50 per hour, so that's our lowercase c, because it's the cost per unit. And then we are given a learning rate of 80%. or 0.8. What does this mean? That when production doubles, only when it doubles, there will be a 20 percent decrease in completion time. Okay. So let's go over part A. In part A we want to know the time to complete a specific unit the formula is the time of the first unit times n to the s. We want to know how much, how long it took to complete unit five. Means that we want t five. We have two hundred, and then n, which is five, to the s. We need to calculate s. S will be the log of the learning rate. Divided by the log of 2. Would be the log of 0.80 divided by log of 2. And you'll get put this in parentheses. You'll get a negative decimal number. You get minus 0 0.322. So we're going to raise the 5 to minus 0 0.322. And this will give us 119.1 hours. We do the same thing for the 25th unit. So it's going to be T of 25, 200. Now this is going to be 25 raised to the point ne negative point 3.22. And this will give us 70.9 hours. Now here it's just asking us for these two units that are not doubling uh, each other, but you could perform a 
test with, for example, T10 or T50, just to check if you are doing this correctly. Now, it's asking us to estimate the total labor cost for the first 25 units. Okay, so remember that here we're only calculating the time and the chapter is about estimating the costs. If we want to estimate the total cost, we will have to figure out, yes, T1, T2, T3, T4, all the way to Tn. In this case, they want us to calculate the first 25 units. So we're going to find the T1, I mean the time to complete T1, T2, etc., all the way to the 25th unit. Of course, that's very long because you would have to do this 25 times. Uh, so I'm just going to skip that. But you may if you want to uh, confirm that the result is correct. The total cost will be the cost per unit, which in this case is the cost per hour, times the time it, to it took to complete the first unit, the second one, the third one, four, five, six, up to T25. Assuming that we already did this, well, we only got two, but you would need to calculate the rest would be $50 per hour times a total of 2,461.4 hours giving us a total cost of $123,070.